Broadcasts are one of the most essential tools inside of ManyChat. They allow you to send mass messages to all of your subscribers or segment your messages to exactly the audience that you want to receive those messages at exactly the right time. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a broadcast as well as all the different types of broadcasts available to you and how to segment your list and create conditions so that the right people receive your messages at the right time. So let's get started. So your first step is to go over on the left side menu and click on broadcast. When you get to your broadcast section, you're going to see three different sections over here. You have your drafts, your scheduled messages, and your history. Drafts are anything that you've started, but you have not scheduled out or sent out. Scheduled means that you've scheduled these posts out, but they haven't gone out yet. And history are all of your broadcasts that have previously been sent out. Up in the upper right hand corner, you have two options when it comes to creating your broadcast. You can create a broadcast from a flow that you have already created, or you can create a new broadcast. Let's go ahead and select new broadcast. Now, just like in Flow Builder, you can create an entire flow inside of your broadcast. Here's a pro tip. If you're going to send out a broadcast and you have a lot to include in your broadcast, like a big flow, then it's a best practice to create your first block here and then connect to other flows. You do this so that if you send out a broadcast and you find that you might have misspelled something or you wanted to add or include something, you can actually go into the other flows and edit those. However, once a broadcast is sent out, you cannot stop it. It's just like email. Once it's out, it's out. So that's a pro tip for you. So let's just go ahead and create a really simple broadcast. So just like in a flow, you can create different buttons and you can utilize all the same features that you would in a normal flow. In this case, we are going to connect it to another flow that we have already in existence. So I'm going to go ahead and create a button. So I created three buttons. I really think it's important that you give your end user choices when it comes to actions on their part. I like to give two positives and something that might be considered a negative, but it's not really. So I want to be able to give them an out. The reason I do this is because if the answer is no, we want them to click no, because that creates an interaction and getting interactions from our end users is one of the most important pieces of messenger marketing. So I just have here, I'm interested, tell me more and no thank you. So we're just going to connect this button to a flow that we already have in existence. We're going to also attach the tell me more button to the same message. And for the no thank you, we'll just send them a no problem message. So I just said no problem first name. If you change your mind and you are ready to start your fitness journey with my help, this challenge is free and starts whenever you are ready. So we're just going to go from learn more and we're just going to take them over to the same start another flow. Now, once we're all ready to go, we're going to go to go next. This is where you select what kind of message you are going to send. You have subscriptional content, non-promotional content, promotional content, follow-up content, and a sponsored message. Subscriptional content is something that you have to apply for in the settings of your business page on Facebook. This is only inclusive of news, productivity, and personal trackers. Non-promotional content is content that is non-promotional, no sales, coupons, discounts, or anything like that. If I select this, I would have to select one of the provided tags from the list here. Promotional content is for anyone who has interacted with my messenger bot in the last 24 hours. Follow-up content are anyone who falls into the plus one of the 24 plus one rule, meaning anyone who I've already used up their 24 hours and I get to have one message that I still get to send out to them. That would be my follow-up message. And finally, sponsored messages. Sponsored messages are paid ad messages that go out to everyone who has ever messaged my page, not including people who have blocked me, but they do include people who have unsubscribed. So if you are going to do a sponsored message, it is very important that you make sure you use custom audiences or lookalike audiences to make sure you're sending messages to the right people and not annoying anyone. In this example, we're just going to go with a follow up message. Now we're going to go down to targeting. Targeting allows us to send to specific people on our list. 
In terms of when I send out the broadcast, I have two choices. I could start sending right away or I could schedule for later. We want to go ahead and schedule for later. Keep in mind that the time that you select is your local time for whoever is sending out the broadcast. So if you are building the broadcast out, that means it's your local time that this message will go out. And then we can go to regular push, meaning it's going to ping that person every time a message block comes up. One regular notification means the end user will get one ping plus a little notification signal. And then two means the first two message blocks will create a notification and a little ping. A silent push means just a silent notification, but no sound. And a silent push is just rolling right into the end user's messenger box, but not really creating any kind of notification. We're going to go with one regular notification. Now, once I'm ready to schedule out my message, I can click on schedule message. And there we go. Now, if I find that there's something I want to change within the message before it goes live, I can click on the message and I can click on unschedule and edit. But after the message has already been sent out, I am not able to correct anything that is within the main broadcast. So just make sure that you are utilizing other flows if you are going to send out a lot of content. Now let's cover what all the analytics mean after you send out your broadcast. The sent to are the number of broadcasts that were successfully sent. The delivered to are the number of users who opened Messenger but not your broadcast. The opened by are the number of users who opened your broadcast in Messenger. And the click by is the number of end users who not only opened your message, but clicked on one of the buttons inside of your first message block. Now keep in mind that if there are no buttons inside of this first message block, you will not get click by count.